Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey and welcome to Weekly Tips. We're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel. And we are going to be drawing a ferret. So let's hop on into this and draw this ferret. Right, once I've gathered the reference for this ferret, I start drawing an underview. Now, you know, this is a view, you may see it at some vets where, you know, they get them on kind of a see-through thing so they can see underneath. Um, they take photos, all sorts of things that they do like that. Um, and it's a good view to start drawing the ferret, um, particularly to really just understand those feet, really, and also its body shape a little bit. Um, I start off here, obviously, yeah, with the feet. Here it shows you, you know, how many kind of toes each foot has, how many, uh, how long the, the feet are, in particular, where on the body the, the feet are, um, the kind of, kind of length of its tail and length of its body. It shows all those little details um, that you wouldn't get in other views. You still get some of that information in other views, um, but definitely like the how many toes they have, all like spread out there, what's going on underneath, everything like that is all spread out for you there. So it's quite nice to have that there and do this first and really understand what you're drawing a little bit more before you go into, say, a three quarter view, side view. Um, any view because with the ferret especially um, and some of these animals that are like that they can get their claws and toes and and feet kind of under their body a little bit so you can't fully see what's going on with their feet even if you do have a side view or a three-quarter view when you're trying to understand the animal um, a little bit better so in these kind of weekly tips, I'm not just drawing the animals and, and um, you know, drawing them to try and draw ferrets, you know, it, it's trying to understand them as well, like um, their body structure, uh, the head shape, um, you know, they've got this kind of, kind of overly head that they've got going on there that's attached to this kind of longish neck. Um, and goes into a kind of bigger, um, longer <laughs> uh, backside. Um, and, you know, that's kind of the personality of ferrets. They have like this long body, a kind of short tail, um, these interesting ears that, that push out and... Um, a uh, kind of mouse-like nose in a way. So, you know, really understanding these features is kind of really helpful. Um, enjoying every animal, but yeah, enjoying the ferret, especially, you know, understanding these um, things because, you know, it's similar to other animals, say, like the weasel or... Um, I'm not too sure, you say an otter or something like that, you know, it has some similarities, so you don't want to um, be drawing a, f um, a weasel when you're trying to draw a ferret, or you don't want to be trying to draw a weasel when you end up drawing an otter. You know, really want to kind of delve in and understand um, what makes an otter an otter, <laughs> and, you know, its um, body proportions it has. And that's another thing doing kind of a kind of an underview first. Um, you really understand all that. Doing a three quarter view, understanding its shape um, here is the next thing. And then you know I go for something a little bit more interesting. It's still this is what I'd call a proper side view. So um, either or, you could do a three-quarter view or kind of a side view here. It is a little bit on a three-quarter angle, um, but it is kind of side view. And like I'm saying here, oh, especially in photos as well, um, like I was saying before, understanding the feed and things, 
you can't fully tell like you'd have to um, probably lighten the photo up or get really close to the photo to fully understand what's going on with those back paws because the first paw is a little bit going under its its body um, and you know you can't see the whole foot either and the same for the second you can't see the whole foot but it's also in darkness so you can't um, you have to kind of use what knowledge you've had before um, to fix that up and really understand oh that must be the fourth toe um, going off there that I can really see that you know um, and seeing you know how many toes they have and everything like that I can see oh okay that that means this toe is going over this way and I can see that in the photo because I you know I've had that knowledge <laughs> I know that um, yeah and he's looking out to another direction so it's a little bit of a direction view um, and yeah you know another side view and now I kind of go into more of a uh, I guess a front three-quarter view where he's kind of looking at you um, and you know this has got some personality to it so you know it it's a hit and miss sometimes especially for me it's got a little bit of character there um, and I'm a big character artist and, and that kind of thing um, and foreshortening, you've got those foreshortening elements going on in this image. Um, so it's a little bit of kind of for me a danger zone, but um, but a tricky kind of image to to draw and imitate. Um, but you can get there, and I tried my best at it. You know, I would want to try again and maybe possibly play a little bit more with proportions um if i was to draw it again <laughs> um but i tried my best i think well, possibly i could have made that head a little bit bigger um yeah it's not really one to kind of um learn its anatomy by drawing this it's more learning a little bit more about foreshortening as well um but it's still a helpful pose. I tried my best. I still feel like um, I need to push that foreshortening a little bit more to get that right. Um, but as far as like body proportions and things go in that image that I had before, um, I feel it was accurate enough. Um, then from there, I start drawing a front view. Um, kind of a three-quarter front view, as I said um, before, but less of a dynamic pose. I really should have, you know, done this before doing that more dynamic pose and ended with that. Um, but that's the way I went, you know, uh, it's to their own. If you want to do a proper order that works for you, you know, the front view, side view, um, bottom view dynamic pose first go ahead <laughs> if you know you need to mix it up and you do different poses as long as it's you know helping you understand the creature helping you draw the ferret in particular then you know it's it's heading towards somewhere doing those proper views first is important to understand before you go in dynamic you've seen that straight away from uh, this drawing here um, but also you know doing those dynamic poses there are some other elements um, that come into play as well um, sometimes like what I was saying before foreshortening um, not the best at foreshortening I'm still kind of learning that thing um, but you know now I know that is the issue with it, you know, the issue with this image that it does need a little bit more foreshortening, um, kind of fix-ups, those kind of things, um, that I could go ahead and work at it, I know what's needed to fix, and that's the same thing um, with learning 
anatomy of these animals and creatures you, know, you can go back if you know the mistakes you can go back and fix them and really understand them and the same thing with this one here i missed the tail i was like oh oh well but it's there um so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video you've learned something new and you can go and draw the ferret let me know down in the comments if this video helps keep drawing keep creating and see you in the next video.